working on the charge attack some more. Um, I've got it so the actual mechanics are all in place. And the I've got some dynamic rendering of hitboxes. So before I was using just like a regular old model from Magicka that I just made the size that I wanted it to be. And um, that was basically, <laughs> this, this is the model basically that gets rendered, right? This is 48 by 48 by 26. Um, but uh, now I need like, to, to do this charge attack, I need multiple of those various sizes. So I've got some code that will create that, um, just generate a voxel file, basically, a, just a rectangular voxel file or a box style, you know, three dimensional, um, three dimensional rectangle. <laughs> So yeah, but there's one issue, and I've noticed I noticed this issue actually with the swords hitbox as well as the uh, charged attacks hitbox. Um, you see when I'm at at one of these uh, 0, 90, you know, 180, 270 degrees, all these hitboxes look good. But then when I'm at a 45 degree multiple like right here, um, we see these like this this like banding going on inside the. Um, inside the, the rendering of it. I think that has something to do with the way it's projecting the voxels. So I'm gonna take a look at that soon. But at least it works nicely here. And you have a visual representation of the hitboxes because um, it's just, uh, it's gonna make it way easier to debug everything. Now I can go ahead and put like these, start applying this, um, these hitboxes to like a collision view. Like I, I got all these different debug views here this one is debugging the render uh, 2D boxes, um, but then I'll add one for debugging all of the collision. So for example, this um, pillar right here would be all, would have a, a red box around it showing where it is in 3D space. So that you can just debug, you know, like collisions and, um, and sliding along walls and all sorts of things like that a little bit easier. Or like the hit boxes of an item you pick up it's just a, it's a very, very good thing to have for uh, debugging your game. So there you have it. Um, I really got to fix that visual issue with the banding because uh, it almost looks like interlacing, but it's vertical. Yeah. Oh, and I think I'm, I'm noticing, yeah, I'm definitely noticing another issue right here. So check it out. When we draw in those, um, those, those dynamic boxes, it's not drawing on the sky right here. So I think that has that has something to do with the way the uh, the voxels are rendering the the transparent voxels. These are these uh, hitboxes here have um, a certain opacity so that they render at a different layer of all the other voxels. So they render nicely when they're rendering on top of those solid voxels like the ground, but then when they're rendered on top of no voxels at all, it looks like some of them are not not actually being uh, drawn at all. See, look at that, yeah. That whole box is almost invisible now because I'm over the sky. But if I come down here over the ground, we see most of it. So there's got to be some issue there in the, it's just in the, the voxel rendering system. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. It's really not that much. I guess there is a little bit of code I could share. Check this out. Generate vox. This just goes and draws a, draws a, a model using a, uh, Three, four loops just pushes back voxels as long as they're on the edge so that's one one important part like I can't that's actually a huge volume right going like that that was a very very big volume of voxels so I can't fill it all in the middle I only need the two voxels on the edge of the of it to need to uh, get some accurate rendering all right so there you have it thanks for watching this video catch you next time